What is going on everyone? Welcome to this video. I have a very exciting video for you today. I have updated the topical authority for SEO GPT generator. For those of you that don't know what this is, uh, you're in for a treat. This is a completely free to use um, generator for topical authority. Now, one thing I just want to very quickly check is can you can you use this without being logged in? So you do need to be logged in, but I believe you can use this with a completely free ChatGPT account. I'm not sure about that though. So I've updated this today and effectively what it does, if you don't know, is it takes your website, right? So I'm just gonna use two men.it as an example. It search, it now searches the website online. It generates a business summary, right? A business summary of the website. It then generates uh, what, is, what are known as pillar pages. And then from those pillar pages, it then generates 20 what we call sub pillar pages, right? And these sub pillar pages, there are there are 20 of them per pillar page, right? So what this does effectively is it gives you 400 sub pillar pages. Now these 400 sub pillar pages are very, very specific to your business. There is another way to do this, by the way, if you want to pay for a research tool, we have harborseo.ai slash researcher. This does the same thing, but with a slightly um, more refined system that I've refined over more time. However, with this update today, with the topical authority generator that I made, the completely free version, it is looking pretty damn good. So the way this works is we just write two men dot it, right? Or your website, and then we press enter. And you'll see that this will search the web now. So I've actually, I gave um, my topical authority generator, my custom GPT, the ability to use the internet. Previously, it did not have this ability. So you can see now you don't even need to generate a niche for the business. It does all of that for you. It then generates 20 pillar pages, right? Each representing a sub niche within the domain. So let's have a look. The art of Italian tailoring, Neapolitan suit styles, guide to men's dress shirts, Italian fabric selection, accessorizing the Italian way, seasonal fashion trends, custom versus ready to wear, caring for luxury menswear. These are all, you know, pretty good uh, pillar pages. Something that's very, very cool here is it actually came up with virtual styling services, um, which interestingly enough, Two Men does actually offer that. I'm not sure where it's got that information from, but this just shows just how specific this new way of doing things is. Because the first thing that ChatGPT does is it reads your domain online, right? And then after it's finished that, that's the first generation, we'll say, now give me the sub pillar pages, give me 10 um, sub pillars per pillar. So normally it's 20, just so you know, so you can get a total of 400 keywords. However, I'm just gonna do 10 sub pillars uh, here. So these are what we consider to be blog post topics that are highly targeted for your audience, right? So history of Italian tailoring, key characteristics of Italian tailoring, differences between Italian and British tailoring, right? So I can show you right now that this is a good keyword. A lot of people say, oh, why do you always do Italian menswear, blah, blah, blah. The reason I do it is because I can see a keyword and I can tell you instantly because I've already written the article and I know how well it did on Google. I can instantly tell you that it's a good keyword. That's why I always choose this niche, right? So if I go here and just type in, I think maybe uh, British, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so you can see here we have British versus Italian. Let's put this on 16 months. I think originally this was ranking very, very well, but it's kind of slowed down a bit. Um, but you can see that the keyword that it, is, it has suggested, right, and it doesn't have access to any data or anything. It's using logical SEO, right? We have here 6,000 impressions on a blog post about this exact topic, right? And I suspect it was ranking a lot better before. Um, this is a very, very old article. I think it's from... 2021, I would guess, maybe even earlier, 2022, right? Okay, so it's from almost three years ago, Jesus, right? Um, so I can tell you with a good degree of confidence that that is an extremely good keyword, for example. This is a good keyword. This is a good keyword. This is a very good keyword. Canvassing is like the inside of a suit. Uh, good keyword, very good keyword, very good keyword, amazing keyword. The fact that it knows that... Um, Neapolitan suits have minimal padding is really, really cool. Best occasions to wear a Neapolitan suit. I love that keyword. How to style a Neapolitan suit for business. 
amazing, phenomenal, phenomenal keyword. Okay, these are all really, really good. Super, super good. This update that I've given it as well, another thing that it does is it focuses on um, buyer intent, right? This is something that I originally put into Harbor, but you know, since then I've kind of thought about it a bit more and worked on it a bit more and decided that it's also good here. And this is what we actually do for all of our clients every single month. We do a batch of keyword research and then we focus on, you know, maybe 10 uh, blog post topics, a good range of blog post topics using, we use Harbor, but I mean, you can just use the topical authority generator. If you want to book a call with us, there is a link in the description of this video. Um, basically what we do is we have an agency, full service agency uh, for digital marketing. We mainly focus on organic SEO being content and backlinks. If you want a done for you solution, feel free to get in touch with us. Um, but you know, the way that I run my channel is I give everything away for free. And then if you want to have a call with us, you can have a call with us. So you actually don't need to call with us. You can literally just take this, right? So let's say, um, I choose this keyword, how to style a ne Neapolitan suit for business, right? So I will also put this in the description of this video, right? And this is effectively the Harbor prompt. Okay. So this here, you can put this into, um, chat GPT, Google, uh, AI studio. It doesn't really matter where you put it. You can put it anywhere. All you have to do is take the keyword right from the topical authority generator. And for example, you can put it here inside keyword. So now it's going to write about Neapolitan suits. And then we need some internal links. So we'll just go to the sitemap of the website, right? So we'll highlight this. I always get the collections um, for the internal links, right? So we'll just highlight here. We'll go all the way down to the end of the sitemap, right? So to here and then shift, uh, click control shift V. And then because this is an article about suits, right? We'll go to two men dot it slash collections slash suits. We'll drag down. These are all Neapolitan suits as well. Oops. I didn't mean to click. Uh, weirdly, oh, no, there it is. This I thought on happening. Okay. So now we'll go to paste to markdown control V to paste control a control C to copy. Right. And then we'll click here. Scroll all the way down, shift, click, shift, control, shift V to paste, control A, C to copy. And then we'll go to chat GPT here. We'll use O3 high and we'll paste this, right? So now we've gone from keyword to, um, to article effectively completely for free, right? Now Harbor does this entire process for you. I personally love using Harbor. Obviously it's a tool that I made. I'll be honest with you, we power our agency and another two or three agencies with Harbor content and the agency partners that we have are incredibly happy with the results, um, from Harbor, basically not just the content it produces, but the fact that that content also ranks on Google, they keep a very close track of every single piece of content they put out there. They have an entire spreadsheet showing that Harbor content does rank on Google, but it wouldn't be an income stream surface video without me giving away, away absolutely everything for free. So here it is. This is now an article. As you can see, you could post this on your website. Um, and it's a, it, it, it will rank on Google. It's a very, very good article. As you can see, really, really nice article, huge amounts of detail, huge amounts of, you know, tables, lists, everything. This prompt completely for free. You can get it in the description of this video. Topical authority generator completely free. I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. I've updated it. I've made it better. And I've now just given you our entire process, uh, which makes us, you know, pretty decent amount of money every month from clients. So yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Bang article done. Let's see how long it is. And I won't bother running it through any AI generation crap. I just, I just don't really believe in that shit anyway, to be honest with you. So it's 3000 words, which is absolutely crazy. I'm going to leave the video there, guys, this workflow of get a keyword from here, put it into either Harbor or into, you know, this prompt here. If you don't want to do, if you want to do it manually, generate the content using O3 mini, 
You've got 3K words with a really, really good, uh, well, there's no title here, actually. You'd have to give it, obviously, um, a title, um, which you can just get from here. And overall, this is a very, very good, free, amazing workflow for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you are an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.